Hey guys, it's Pony and today I'm making a tutorial on how to download and install mods on Minecraft Xbox. And I had already made a tutorial, but that was using my files explorer. And that one is really difficult to use and it costs money. Uh, but there's a new method uh, and it's completely free and it's a lot better and it has more features. And I was told about this by someone in the comments. And this is using an app called MC Add-ons Manager. First, let me show you how you get this. So what you want to do first is click on the guide button and then go all the way down here and go where it says store. Once you're in the store, what you want to do is go here where it says search, click on it. And here you want to type MC and then space and then add-on. And this should pop up. It's this one called MC Add-ons Manager. And this one, like I said, it's completely free. So I already have it installed. So it just says launch app, but it should say install for you. So what you want to do first is just install it. Once you have it installed, uh, if you open this up, uh, this one can do a lot of things. So if you go here where it says worlds, uh, this will show you a list of every single world in your game. And it allows you to do a few things. So uh, for example, if I click on this one, it allows me to delete it. So if I want to delete this world, it'll delete it for you. And what you could also do is you could export the world. So you, if you click export, It allows you to export the world so you could transfer it to like a USB or upload it somewhere, whatever you want to do. But I'm not going to do that right now. And it also shows you a list of all the resource packs that you have installed in your game. And you could also delete the resource packs that you don't want. So you could just click here where it says delete or you could export them, whatever you want to do. Uh, same with the behavior packs. If you click here, it will show you a list of every single behavior pack you have installed. And it's the same thing, you could delete them or export them, whatever you want to do. And it also shows you a list of every skin pack that you have installed. I don't have any installed right now. But let me show you how to install a world or, or an add-on or resource pack or behavior pack, whatever you want to do. So to do that, all you have to do is go to the Microsoft Edge. And then you want to go to any website where you could download add-ons or skin packs or whatever you want to download. Uh, I would recommend using MCPDL com since it's one of the better websites and it has a lot of things you can download for free so for this tutorial I'm just going to be using MCPDL but this will work the exact same on any website you could just you could do this from any website that you want uh, but if you're using MCPDL you could download mods maps uh, skins texture packs whatever you want and here it shows a list of a lot of different things that you could download just as an example, I'm going to show you how to install this add-on. This one is a creepypasta add-on. So all you do is click on the add-on. And once the page loads, uh, here it will show you all the information about the add-on and how it works. And then you just want to keep going down. All the, all the downloads are at the bottom. So all the downloads will usually be here at the bottom. And sometimes they'll only have one download link or two. And sometimes they'll have a resource pack and a behavior pack. If they have two of them, you want to download both of them. Uh, for this one, it just gives me the option to download it directly from Mediafire or or to click on this link that has ads. And all of these are free, so some, some of them will have ads. Uh, but this one gives you the option to either click on the ad or just go directly to the download link. I'm going to click on the one with the ads just so I can show you how to skip the ads. So if I click here. And here, it will. all you have to do is click here where it says to go to this page. And this one took me to AdFly. Uh, when, if you get an AdFly link, all you have to do is just wait uh, three seconds, uh, five seconds here, and then just wait for the time to run out. And you just ignore everything that pops up down here. And all you want to do is click here where it says Skip Ad. Once you do that, it's going to take you. It's going to open up this page, and it will redirect you within a few seconds. If it doesn't, then just click here. And usually most people use Mediafire, so if it does take you to a Mediafire link, all you have to do is go click here where it says download. And if it opens up a new tab, you can just close this one. This one's just an ad. And then down here, all you want to do is click here where it says save. And then just wait for the add-on to download. It usually takes only a few seconds. Once that downloads, what you want to do is go back to the MT add-ons manager. And it's pretty easy to install the add-on. So all you have to do is go here where it says import. And then just look for the add-on or map or whatever you downloaded. 
and just click on it and this will do everything for you so this way this uh, app is a lot better than using my files explorer this one all you do is click on it and it will install the add-on to the correct folders for you and all you have to do is just wait for this to finish once it finishes it's gonna say success and it's gonna ask you if you want to delete the file so if you're not gonna use it again or if you you could just click yes and it will delete it for you but if you want to keep it as a backup then you could just uh, click no but I'm gonna click yes since I'm not gonna use that one anymore and if you go into your resource packs uh, this will this one installed a resource and a behavior pack so uh, if I go to the resource pack that's the one I just uh, downloaded and installed and if I go to the behavior packs uh, it's also installed here and that's pretty much all you have to do and then you can just go back into your game also if you if you already had your game open you want to close it first or it's not gonna show the add-on so let me just show you how it looks in the game so once the game loads all you would have to do is just install the add-on uh, and you can install it to an already to an already existing world or you could install it to a new world whatever you choose so or you have to if you're installing it to a world that you already have just go into the world settings uh, go into the behavior packs and here just activate the behavior in the resource pack so for this is the one I just downloaded right now so I just click on it and click where it says activate and this will activate it and same for the resource pack uh, sometimes it, it will activate it for you the resource pack automatically but if it isn't then just go into your resource packs go where it says my packs and install it and then you just play with it and to install a world or a skin pack or anything else it's the exact same process it's the exact same thing but i'm going to show you how to install them but it, like i said it's the exact same process so so what you want to do first is just go to any website wherever you want to download your worlds or your skin packs from or whatever you want to download uh i'm going to, i'm going to use mcpdl again just because it's a lot easier uh, so if I wanted a map from this website, I could just go here where it says maps. And here I could just uh, look for any map that I want to download. And right now I'm just going to download this one, the, the Among Us, the Scaled map. So I just click on it. And once it loads the page, uh, it's the same thing again. You're going to get all the information here and then just go down until you find the download link and this one has the downloads here at the bottom so i just click here where it says uh mediafire link and this one just takes me directly to mediafire and all i do is the same thing again just click download if it opens a new tab just close it and then the same thing again just click save uh, so i already downloaded this map and i'm also going to download a skin pack from mcpdl so if i go here where it says skins i just click on it and here I just look for any skin pack that I want to download. And here I'm just going to click on this one, the one that says Minecraft Legends skin pack. Wait for it to load and it gives you all the information about it. And then just look for the download links. This one shows it right here. And then you want to click here. If it takes you to an ad, uh, just wait for the seconds to run out and then just click here where it says skip ad. and then just click here again and this one also took me to a media fire link so all i do is just click here where it says download close the pop-up and just click save and this one was pretty fast so then i just go back to the mc add-ons manager and then go down here where it says import And like I said, this uh, this app makes it really easy. So uh, to install the map, all I do is just click on it and just wait for it to get installed. And then it asks you if you want to delete the file. Uh, I'm going to click yes since I don't need it. And it's the exact same thing for the skins. Just click import again and click on the skin pack. Just wait for it and just wait for it to install and just choose if you want to delete it or not. I'm going to click yes and that's all you have to do. Uh, like I said, it's the exact same process for everything. And then you can just go back into your game. If your game was open, close it or it won't show up. And just wait for it to load. 
and again once your game loads you can check to see if everything got installed correctly so right now I just downloaded this map the Among Us the scaled map and it does show up here and another thing and one thing about the maps is that some things they won't show up at the top uh, they usually show up on whatever they usually get sorted by the date that they were last saved uh, so if it so if you download a map that was saved uh, a few days ago or months ago, um, sometimes the the map will show up like way down the list. So if you can't find it, just look down in the list, and you should be able to find it. And if I click on it, it should load up correctly. And yeah, this map loaded up uh, correctly with no issues. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know, and I'll see if I can help you.